Hello, we're going to take a look at the RV22 home mesh router from Cambium Networks and the TP-Link Deco X55. Let's jump right in. Now, first of all, you notice these two APs. They look pretty nice. Aesthetically, they're very pleasing. You can put them on a shelf next to something else. They look like they belong. You notice the RV22 is a little bit taller, and that gives it a better antenna performance, which you're going to see later why that is very, very important. Let's jump right in to take a look at the packaging. We're going to look at four categories of these products. We're going to get packaging, coverage, speed, and price. So first of all, here's the packaging on this, uh, this TP-Link Deco uh, X55. You notice it's a nice looking package. It's got the pictures of the product on the front, some words on the front, some words on the side, words on the other side. Um, you know, your customer would like to receive this coming into their home. It looks like something that uh, they might enjoy receiving. Now, if they open up the box, it's quite a large box. It's going to be kind of hard to see here. Here, I'll flip it around this way. Easier to see. Now, what you have here is three uh, APs and a box of accessories at the bottom. Now, first of all, this does look very nice when you first open it. It's a nice presentation here. What I don't like about it, first of all, is the amount of space that it takes up. Uh, this is a very wasteful package. I mean, they could have put these much closer together and saved a lot of space. The second thing I don't like is all this extra plastic. There's all these little liners. Every AP has got a liner and it's got a plastic on top. The Inside this accessory box, uh, there are three power supplies and an Ethernet cable. All of them have a plastic bag. It's kind of unnecessary. But let me show you the thing I really don't like about this packaging. If I take out all three of these, I don't like this at all. Let me see if I can get this apart here. It came apart nicely before. There we go. Styrofoam. Nobody likes styrofoam. There's absolutely no reason to package these APs with that much styrofoam. So I would normally like to give TP-Link, you know, uh, a good five stars on the packaging, but I just can't. I'm going to have to give them only four and a half stars on the packaging. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Cambium Network's RV22. So we notice here, first of all, let's take a look at the outside of it first before you open it up. All right, the outside, again, looks nice. It looks like something that somebody, ah, focus, focus. Come on, camera. There we go. All right, it looks like something that somebody would like to have uh, come to their home. Tells you right there, it's a multi-gigabit mesh system. There's your, there's your product on the front. Words on the sides, words on the other side. Nice, glossy color box. People would like to see that come into their home. Now, if you open it up, you'll notice that the packaging is nice and tight. Two APs in here. No wasted space at all. And if we open it up, you will see we have a, a brown craft paper liner, which I've just wrinkled up. Didn't look to make it look too nice doing that, does it? Um, and then here's the access point. And underneath this cardboard box here is a power supply and an Ethernet cable. So a nice compact set of packaging here with the RV22. So I kind of like that as well. Uh, I'm not going to give it five stars because, you know, there's always some room for improvement. I will give the RV22 four and a half stars for packaging. All right, let's 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 move on. Let's get back to our show here. Let's talk about the next category, which is coverage. Coverage. Now, this area here on the left-hand side is the RV22. On the right-hand side is the TP-Link Deco X55. This coverage area is 900 square feet um, in this home, uh, about, uh, what is that, um, 84 square meters uh, on the floor, the ground floor. Each of these, this is a second story, which we're going to show you in a minute. It also is about 84 square meters. You'll notice that both APs cover the ground floor very well. Now, you can look at the numbers. The numbers tell the story. They tell you that the RV22 has about 4 dB better coverage than the X55. 4 dB, that's twice the coverage, twice the power. Now, the color code also tells you the same thing. Red is hot. Red means stronger signal. So the more red you see means you have a stronger signal. You can see very quickly that the RV22 is superior. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at 
the upstairs in the same home. Now the AP again is on the bottom floor. Now we're looking at the top floor. Again, 84 square meters, about 900 square feet. You'll notice the RV22 on the left-hand side covers almost 100% of this house upstairs and downstairs. But the Deco X55 only covers about 50% of the upstairs, about 75% of the house. So the RV22 is a full 25% better coverage than the Deco X55. Now coverage is important. Coverage is important because of all the low power devices that are in people's homes these days. Smartphones, some old printers, IoT devices, all over the home, you need a strong signal to cover the entire home. You also need a strong signal if you're going to deploy a mesh system. If you don't have a strong signal, you end up with asymmetrical and low performance mesh, and you're going to be unhappy with that. So you need to have a strong coverage. I'm going to give the X55 two stars and the R55, the R RV22 from Cambium a full five stars on coverage. Now let's take a look at the next category, which is speed. Now, in this case, the downstairs was pretty much the same for both of the APs. So let's just take a look at the upstairs. And again, you're going to find the RV22 is superior between 13% and 33% faster than the TP-Link Deco X55 in speed. Speed is closely related to that previous one, the coverage, the signal strength, because the more coverage you have, the better signal you have, the higher speed you can transmit to the devices. The more devices you have in your home, you need more speed. You need to transmit to all those devices at the fastest possible speed so you can get more devices into your network, more IoT devices. So I'm going to give uh, speed, oh, hold on, I'm gonna hold that thought. Before we talk about the speed, let's talk about one more drill down in speed. Now, you notice these speed numbers don't look pretty high. 252 by 218, those don't look very high at all. Now, I had to actually run this through my, uh, uh, through my uh, Comcast internet connection. It was only about 450 megabits, as fast as I can get the Comcast to run. So there's a limitation on this speed test. So the next thing I did was remove that Comcast limitation. And here's what I did. So I used iPerf on two different devices, iPerf on a laptop connected via Ethernet cable to the access point, and then iPerf on the test laptop to check the performance without going through the Comcast internet. So the first thing you notice there at the top, the RV22 link speed is 1153 by 576. That's much faster than the Deco X55. The client device on the Deco only achieved 432 megabits per second upstream and downstream at that farthest point. Now you see where I tested it right there in the location in the upper uh, right hand corner. This is upstairs away from the APs. So we can see, really see and visualize the performance difference between these two access points. And what we came up with is pr pretty dramatic. The RV22, 48% faster downstream. The RV22, 61% faster upstream. So faster connections plus greater coverage with the RV22. So what's the difference in cost? Certainly, the RV22 does cost a little bit more than the X55. But really, what is the difference? Does it really matter? So what can you do with the cost difference between the X55 and the RV22? Well, you can buy a Shiatsu heat and, neck, heat and neck massager. You know you've got one of those sitting in your closet or out in the garage. That's the difference in price between these two APs. Well, what else can you do? Well, I tell you what you can't do. You can't fill up a Prius with gas. If you live in California, you can't even fill up half a Prius with gas on the difference in price between the RV22 and the Deco X55. So on price, I'm going to give the X55 five stars because it is the cheapest thing you can find on Amazon. I'm going to give the RV22 four stars because there really is so little difference in cost in these types of products. Now let's sum it all up. Let's take a look at these different things here. Now we have the, uh, in the categories we talked about, we talked about packaging. Well, they're about the same. Your customers will like the way it looks. Coverage, the RV22 is 25% more. More coverage equals more devices and a better mesh connectivity. I'm giving coverage 40% weight. Speed, the RV22 is 48% down, 61% upstream, faster than the X55. 
Faster speed means more devices connected to your network and a better experience. I'm gonna give speed 30%. Now, speed and coverage are closely related. That's why total, they total up to about 70% of the waiting average here. They're very, very important. Think about it, in your home, you might have 15, 20, 25, 30 devices, but you're not all clustered around one single access point just a meter away from it, no. You're scattered all over. You have laptops upstairs, smartphones downstairs. You have IoT devices outside by the front door. You got things all around your entire house. You need a combination of great coverage and great speed. You need both of those things to get that better experience, that maximum experience for your home. That's why combined, they total is a 70% waiting factor. Now price, I have that at a 20% waiting factor. Yes, the RV22 costs a bit more, but it has the highest cost to benefit ratio. So fantastic cost to benefit ratio. Now let's go ahead and uh, um, you know, sum these, these two things up. Let's add up all those weighted factors between packaging, coverage, speed, and price. I have a weighted average on the RV22 of 4.6 and a weighted average on the X55 of 2.85. Then you might say, Darren, come on now. Honestly, uh, would you really give the RV22 four stars on price? I'd only give it three. Fine, make it three stars. Make it two stars if you want. It just doesn't matter that much because because the prices are so compressed or so close together. Even if you set the RV22 is only two stars on price, you know what it does to the weighted average? It's 4.2. Still a fantastic product. Thank you for watching.